hello everyone now uh, welcome back so in this video we will see how we can access internet uh, in our vpc using internet gateway and we'll be also looking into other components like route table security groups and detail so let's go ahead and start so initially let's go ahead and uh, create our vpc so let's go ahead and uh, create vpc so in this case i'll just select uh, vpc only so we have already discussed about uh, creating a vpc in the previous videos but uh, let me show you the clans so in this case, I'll uh, keep it as AWS uh, training VPC. So IPv4, let me add the address, so ten dot zero dot plus uh, 16. So in this case, I'm not using IPv6, but instead I'm using I, uh, IPv4. So 10 is default and uh, get tags and let's go ahead and create one. So we have created our uh, VPC. So let's refresh this. So we have created our VPC, let's click that. So if you go to the resource map here, so we have our VPC, we don't have any subnets, but we have a route table uh, which have been configured default and no network connections. So in, in here, we'll be having the internet gateway and we'll be also configuring the routing table and also subnet. So let's go ahead and create one subnet. So here, go to the subnet section and uh, let's add a, create a subnet, select the VPC. In this case, it's our uh, AWS uh, training VPC. Click that and uh, let's select our uh, AWS training uh, VPC. So in this case, I'll select the first uh, availability zone or else you can just uh, click it as no preference, but I'm just uh, selecting US East. And just for reference, I'm using uh, US East 1A. Or you can just leave it as no uh, no preference. Coming to the notation, let me add uh, dot, dot zero. Done, and uh, the same tags that we have. So everything is right. Let's go ahead and create the subnet. So we have error because I've added extra. There you go. So we have successfully created our uh, subnet. So let's go back to our VPC and see the resource map. So you can see we have our uh, subnet associated uh, to here, which is also linked to our route table. Right, so this is done. The next one is uh, we have to create our internet gateway, so which will be in this network connections. So you can see here we have internet gateways. Click that. So basically, uh, internet gateway is a virtual component that allows communication between resources in your uh, virtual private cloud and the broader internet. So it serves as an entry and an exit uh, point for the network traffic between your VPC and the internet. So this is the main component uh, through which we'll be accessing the internet. So let me uh, go and create one uh, internet gateway. So already we have one. So basically this is for the default VPC, but uh, let's go ahead and create one uh, internet gateway. So in this case, I'll just add it as uh, this training IG internet gateway one. So that's it. That's all you have to do. So click uh, internet gateway. So it is done. The next one is uh, we have to attach this internet gateway to our VPC. Okay, so for that, you can see here we have an option called attach to VPC. You can attach from here or uh, you can select the relevant uh, internet gateway and select actions and you see attach uh, to VPC. In this case, we have to select our VPC, which is uh, AWS training VPC that we have just created. So click that, attach uh, gateway, done. So it's done, let's go ahead and again, uh, see our VPC resource map. You can see we have our uh, network connection. So this is the internet gateway that we have created. So, but there is no connection to this route table uh, to this uh, internet. So in this case, we have to go to the route table and add the rules. So let's go to the route table. So basically a route table is a virtual configuration that uh, helps to determine how network traffic is uh, directed within a virtual private cloud. 
So it's like a set of instructions uh, for AWS resources to know where to send the data packets as they move around your VPC. So that is the definition uh, for a routing table. So if you see, we have this one. So click this and uh, let's just play. Yeah. So, and uh, the next thing is go to the route subnet association. So there is no subnet association. So let's uh, add that. Send it and uh, click our uh, subnet, which is in US East 1A. Save association. So that's all you have to do here. So after that, let's click this and routes. You see, we have only one route. So we have to edit this and we have to make sure uh, we give access to internet. So add the route. In this case, uh, we have to add this one. So 0, .0, .0, 0. And uh, here the target is uh, internet gateway. So this is the one that we have created. So click here and save changes. So successfully we in the route table, we have added uh, the internet to our, uh, you know, this internet gateway. So let me go back to the route tables and uh, okay, go to the VPC resource map and you can see now it, it has been connected, right? So this is how you can uh, connect. And now let's go to uh, go and create our uh, security group. So for that, let me open uh, the other uh, uh, tab and let's search for EC2. So in this case, uh, we can create an EC2 instance and uh, we can give access, uh, you know, internet access to this particular uh, virtual machine. So let's launch the instance and uh, let's give it as AWS uh, training uh, EC2. And you can select the relevant uh, application, whether you want uh, Linux, Windows, and so on. So in this case, I'll just uh, leave it as default. And uh, the next one is uh, key pair. So if you have the key pair, you can select the key pair. So since I already have key pair, I'm selecting this, or else you can just create a new one and download it. So that is done. And uh, coming to the network settings. So let's edit this. Oh, where is it? Yeah. So in this case, we'll allow uh, HTTP traffic from the internet and uh, HTTPS as well. So click here. Um, but in this case, if you see, it's a default VPC. So we have to change that to our uh, recently created VPC. So click that and uh, select the VPC and our uh, subnet has been populated as well. Auto assign uh, public IP. So in this case, uh, we can keep it enable, or you can just uh, disable and you can assign your, you know, uh, the elastic IP. So in this case, let's uh, keep it as enable, and also we'll be also seeing about this elastic IP as well. So security group. So in this case, I'll just start it as AWS. Uh, AWS training. It's done. Description AWS uh, training. So SSH, HTTP, HTTPS. So done. You see the rules with the source uh, 0.0.0 slash zero allow all IP addresses to access your instance. Even setting security groups to allow access from uh, known IP addresses only. So since it's a demo, it's okay. So let me go down. I think everything is fine as of now. So you see, this is for IPv4 and this is for IPv6. So however, uh, we have not used IPv6, so that's okay. So I'm just uh, seeing everything is okay or not. Uh, well, it's fine. So let's go ahead and launch the instance. So we have successfully launched the instance. Meanwhile, if I go here and you see we have Elastic IP. 
So basically, let me click that. So right now we don't have any elastic IP. So basically an elastic IP is a static uh, public IP address that you can allocate and associate with your AWS resources such as instances, which are nothing but a virtual machines or a load balances. Unlike a, a regular public IP address that might change whenever you stop or restart your instance and elastic IP remains the same uh, even if you stop or start the resources. So if you want that, you can just add it here. So if you remember previously, we were, we just, uh, you know, whenever we are creating these resources, we have uh, dynamically allocated this IP address. So obviously we'll be getting this public IP, but for example, if you want the static IP, you can uh, create it and uh, allocate it to your uh, particular resources. So let me go back and uh, let me refresh this one. So we have successfully created this one. Let me go to your VPC, VPC training resource map. Done, we have uh, successfully created this in this routable. We have given access to this internet and which is also connected to this internet gateway. So, so everything seems okay. So let's go back here and uh, click uh, Table, you see, we have assigned our public IP uh, before. So this is done because we have, uh, you know, dynamically allocated. So if I show you, so just, uh, just uh, wanted to show you, let's click launch. Man, it got stuck. Okay. So you see here auto assign public IP. So this is enabled. So if you disable this, you will be not having that public IP. So to have this public IP, you have to make sure it's enabled or else you can use your public IP. The elastic uh, IP, if you go here, if you allocate uh, this public IP, you can just uh, allocate it. So I'm just using name. So name and uh, here AWS, uh, training EC2, allocate. So we have created our uh, EC2 instance. We have uh, got our uh, you know, public IP. Now you have to, if you click here, actions, release and associate. So right now it's not associated with any uh, you know uh, instance. So you can associate uh, instance and here uh, you can select your EC2 instance that we have created. So this is how you can create your, uh, you know, uh, the static IP to that. So once you, have, for example, let's say you don't want this, so you can just click here and you can add this release elastic IP address. So that is how you can associate and uh, release these, uh, you know, uh, IP address. So once it is done, let me go back here and uh, let me connect it with, uh, EC2 instance connect. So, uh, so you can just uh, update it. So, so, update by. So, similarly, uh, you see, we were able to update it. So that is how you can, uh, you know, add your, uh, you can access the internet. So just wanted to show you this according to the talks. So this is what uh, the procedure is. So coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. And also like you can check my Instagram channel where I post uh, content related to AWS components. So do check that out. I'll be keeping that in the description as well. And uh, even I'll be keeping uh, my blog's description as well so that you can know more about uh, these components. So yeah, hope you guys understood the concept. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thanks everyone.